what I'm what I was getting at earlier is that I'm 58 now. I'm getting into the third chapter of my life, right? Mm -hmm. So the last chapter of my life, what I want to be able to, you know, look back on when I'm taking my last breath is how many lives was I able to impact on a positive basis? Okay. Okay. I'm not making any more money. I can make money. I can survive. I can sell. I've mm -hmm. learned. I've learned that skill. Mm -hmm. But how can I spend the last third of my life working on making an impact, serving others? That's the driving force of what I want to do with the la last third of my life. And I believe that finding these other people in the XRP community who are of like mind are that's going to resonate with them. And then all we got to do is keep in touch. And mm -hmm. then as soon as the moon hits, then we'll get together and figure out what we want to try to do for good for serving others. So I, I, I'm glad we, we came together because I, I'm on the same page with you because I, I was like that, you know, way when I, I did the video, because it's like, I, I'm like, wait a minute, you see all these people talking about, oh, I want to get a new Lambo, this and that. It, it, it's all good. You know, it's like I, I got my dream house, you know, it's not a mansion or whatever, but hey, I want my little puppy in, in Ladera Heights, you know, but it's like, oh, OK, you know, but I still want to help people. You know, and I, I like how you put that together. And even though we're not going to agree on everything, as long as we're on the same page on helping people, w w we can come come to a common goal and like, all right, what steps we need to do that uh, take care of, you know, because the good thing about XRP community, we're all over the world. Yeah. Right? And, and once we get everybody set up, you know, we can have different uh, – liaisons like all right well we have uh xrp europe you know uh handling different people in europe and helping them uh we have uh you know uh you know the xrp agent in los angeles he, he's helping out california and, and watts and different things you know we have xrp army news you know he he's in his neck in the woods you know helping families and 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 uh people that's that's you know need help and stuff and and it just go, grows from there and just imagine you know you help one person that person helps another person and when you have unlimited funds and you use the and that's a good way it's like hey we have a nonprofit, we have it set up on the blockchain you know we use all the digital technologies to make sure that the funds are allocated in such a way where they're actually taking uh, taking care of people you're not going to yeah. be hearing about the xrp army news you know it's like uh bezeling millions from this organization and that organization and and it's right. a scam everybody it, you know, is is helping other people, and it, and it's on a public ledger, and it's yep. undisputable. You there know? you go. So, All right, well, listen, I'm glad that we see eye to eye here. <laughs> yes, we do. And you 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 will be. Uh, I I'm sure you're going to be glad to hear that everybody that I've interviewed. It's it, the same. It seems like we're all on the same wavelength. There are a lot of really mm -hmm. good people. And and so two things uh, as we sign off. Number one, um, of all the people that I have been asking to do interviews, what would you say to them? If they're mm -hmm. hesitating, if, if I've asked, you know, other people in our XRP community to just sit and have a friendly conversation like we have, and mm -hmm. they're hesitating, what would be your message to them? Uh, come and tell your story because everybody has a different story. You know, my story is different from your story. Your story is different from Joe Blow's story. And your story can maybe help somebody that's on the fence. Because like like the guy who was coming on to me, it was like, BitConnect, BitConnect, BitConnect. I was like, man, you're crazy, you know? But I was like, all right, well, let me hear what you have to say. Then once I got into it, I'm like, oh, okay. And it's a lot of times where I, I learned from mistakes. I lost uh, cryptocurrency. I was hacked uh, on my phone. Uh, I You know, a lot of people were like, 
uh, blah, Coinbase. But uh, when I got hacked, they helped me retreat from my coins. They they wiped me out on Binance. But it, different people like uh, Crypto Dad, I've learned different things. So if you could tell your story, that could help somebody else save their funds and uh, maybe educate them where they can help their family. And then once we elevate together, we can all be a stronger XRP community. And none of this foolishness. Of course, we're not going to agree on everything, but just understand we have a bigger goal in mind, you know, and like uh, XRP United with uh, his um, website, uh, the uh, Crypto Arcade, I really appreciate him. And so many cryptocurrency YouTubers, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter people, you know, I can't name them all, but they all put their own value on what they 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 feel and believe. And it, that makes, uh you know, the XRP community so special. So yeah. if you're on the fence, just, you know, just, hey, just have a conversation on, off camera and then, you know, see how you feel. And then, you know, it, let it go from there. That's and and I have been. um one of the strongest desires that I have is to get more of our women in the XRP community to do this. Oh, here he is so many. We so interviewed many. her, and she's one of my favorite people. I caught in my mind, I refer to her as the standard. Mm. Um, my res level of admiration and respect for that lady knows no bounds. But I'm trying to get all as many of the women in the community so we can hear the female voice of our XRP army. So do you have any message out to go out to the women and the women that are watching this video, you know who you are because I'm a persistent little turd. And I've been, <laughs> asking, I've been asking you ladies over and over and over and over and over. And the bottom line is I'm a guy that I will persist until I succeed. I'm knocking on the door 269 times guy so I will keep asking. So you're you're either going to block me, talk to me, but I will ne or, or, but I'm never going to keep asking because I believe that the feminine voice in our XRP community needs to be represented. Right. And and also too, and, you know, you're you're in sales, I'm in sales, you know, we're we're not going to um we're we're not going to uh, close a deal in, unless we uh, keep on reaching uh, the prospect, and it right. takes uh, eight to twelve contacts before we actually have a conversation. A lot of times, and that's why ninety percent of realtors don't make any money because they don't want to follow up. And you're since you in sales, you have a specific gift because you know what it takes to follow up. And what I would say to the the women XRP army is make your presence known, come out and let, let us know how you feel, because it's like, I'm just going to say this right now, XRP army is dominated by the men and the women need to come out and show uh, uh, what they have to bring to the table. And that way we can learn from you women because your experiences are way different than ours. You know, and you could teach us some things and we could teach you some things, but together it builds us stronger. And another uh, person, I, I, I don't know her name offhand, but she's um, a news reporter. The lady that's real good uh, with the XRP community that does excellent interviews with uh, uh, Brad Garlinghouse. I would love for you to talk to her. You know, yeah, the, I believe if you. Yeah, the CNN gal Chatterley. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. And if you yeah. had her on and ask her to have more XRP Army ladies uh, come on, uh, she uh, that would probably help, too. So that's uh, what you say. And again, the, the, the most important part is, is that, again, everybody understand that your even if you don't feel like your story has any, you know, you're not important. Nobody cares about what you think. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Mm -hmm. People are fascinated with stories and finding out about other people. And your story has as much value as anybody else's. And what I, I'm just trying to do what I can to be able to get as many voices out there as we can so we can touch as many people out there in the world. 
Um, and then the last thing that I'd like to say is that I always invite everybody in advance to come back um, in a month or two, and then we can see where we were on July 15th and how we progressed and then kind of have a catch up conversation because I'd like this to be an ongoing friendship that we have started Smart. instead of just a one time wham, bam, see you later. I'd like right. to develop relationships with all the people that I've begun to meet. Man, so you have, good. You, have, you have an open invitation to come back at some point and I'll be, I've got, you know, I know how to keep track. So <laughs> I, I will make my little note in my little calendar and I will be right. right. And I have thoroughly enjoyed meeting someone else. And it's, it's always regenerates my engine when I find another friend that I see things eye to eye with. And I feel like I've done that with you today. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate uh, you inviting me onto the show. I'm I'm deeply honored, uh, and um, uh, I hope my little rant <laughs> helps somebody. And you know, for people that uh, was invited and hadn't uh, popped on yet, hey, come on, tell your story. You know, I would love to hear from you. Many people would love to hear from you, and uh, you know, we're we're an army, one XRP person at a time. So uh, with your input, you know, you, you have a, you know, you have a say, you know, on how you live your life, what you do, and this could help uh, other people that's on the fence. And, and I appreciate you saying that. And I hope uh, as we sign off and I've got something uh, after I turn the broadcast off, I wanted to talk with you something real briefly, but the last thing I'd like to say is, um, uh, I hope you were listening to that, all of the women, and I hope also that uh, Bearable Bull and Digital right. Asset Investor, I hope both of y'all heard that as well, uh, because I'm going to keep coming and I'm going to keep asking until y'all have a friendly conversation with me, <laughs> because I admire it. Come on, Bearable Bull, Digital Asset Investor. I, what about I, the Working I, Money Channel? Working yeah, Money yeah. Channel. <laughs> And I love all of you guys and what you've done for me to help educate me. And I appreciate it. And I want to be Mr. able to share. <laughs> yeah, I want to be able to share and let other people know a little bit more about you. Than just, asset investor. <laughs> than just the news that you're sharing with us. So thank you again. And uh, everyone take care and we'll see you next time. God bless. God bless.